This is an unlucky moment. There are worse moments in the F1 driver world for drivers being disqualified for driving too slowly or most race starts without a podium finish. This video is filled with unlucky moments. At various points in their careers, many drivers on the grid have been described as both lucky and unlucky. And you know, while luck does tend to even out over time, there were three drivers who seemed to get more than their fair share of bad luck. And one of them is named Charles. He led the race earlier on, but disaster struck for him on lap 18 as he crashed out on the French Grand Prix. Let's talk about Australian driver Dave Walker. His F1 journey had his ups and downs. In his main racing season, he couldn't grab a single point, which was a bit tough. On the flip side, his teammate clinched on to the F1 championship that year with a fantastic five wins. It's like Walker was giving his all, but luck wasn't quite on his side. Interestingly, he stands as the only one who ended the season with a zero points while his teammate was busy winning the championship. Tough break, right? Despite driving in a Ferrari for his entire career, you'd naturally expect Luca to have nabbed a point or two in his 50 race starts. But here's the kicker. He had an agonizing record and it wasn't all on him. Look here. The 1999 European Grand Prix where a man doesn't make mistakes, but he does get unlucky now. He was steering his car brilliantly for the fourth position with the car's breakdown quickly followed by its distraught driver, who swept on the side pod at the loss of his chance of glory. Of all the records to hold in F1, Al is possibly the most unfortunate. In a sport where speed is everything, some will inevitably be faster than others. But only one driver has ever been disqualified for driving too slowly, and he managed to grab a record that's hard to beat. Man, this is heartbreaking. When he completed only 22 laps in time, it took race leader Jackie to complete 46. Ken had a quiet word with the organizers, and Al got disqualified. If you're going out, go out in style, as the old adage goes. That's pretty much sums up Hayer's actions. He managed to start and end his F1 career in a single afternoon in Hockenheim, with a DNQ, DNF, and a DSQ all in one race. Even though he didn't meet the requirements to enter the race, he convinced the people in charge to give him a chance. But during the ninth lap, his car has had an issue with its gears and he had to stop. Unfortunately, this led him back to being banned from racing forever. Oh man, best of luck for your next career. In the 1991 Brazilian Grand Prix, Senna was zooming ahead in the race, way ahead of others. But guess what? Just as he was about to win on his own home track, his car suddenly stopped because of a gear jam. That was a big unexpected curveball for him. But you know, if you really try hard, you can win with the luck. That's happened with him and he wins the race. All right, let's travel back to the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix, a super exciting car race. Felipe was doing an awesome job, leading the race with a big smile. But hold on to your seat because here comes the crazy part. His teammate had a crash, and this special car called the safety car came out. It was like a pause button for everyone. This pause gave another driver, Fernando, a golden chance to sneak in and win. It's like the race saying, surprise, things can change really fast. So don't worry, even famous racers have their not-so-lucky days. Just like when you're having a picnic and it suddenly starts raining. Unexpected things can happen, even in super speedy races. And the same thing happens to Sebastian. He is like the dedicated friend who always gives their best, but sometimes luck decides to play hide-and-seek. Let's talk about the 2017 Singapore Grand Prix. It's like a high-speed puzzle. And Sebastian is a puzzle piece aiming for victory. But then, boom. In the first corner of the race, it's like a puzzle box got jumbled up in Sebastian's car and he had a little bump bump with his teammate and also had a dance with Max from Red Bull Racing. Now in a perfect world, this might have been a part of a synchronized car ballet, but reality had other plans. It's like Sebastian was dealt a car trick by fate, a bad trick where championship hopes got shuffled out the picture. In the 1998 Belgian Grand Prix, the legendary racer Michael was zooming ahead, all set to win. But out of nowhere, he had a surprise meeting with another driver, David, who was a bit slow on the track. It was like they had a secret agreement to play hide and seek. Michael had to retire from the race because of the collision. Funny, right? It's like when you're not fond of someone and poof, they disappear. Well, joking as aside, this little mishap really put a dent in Michael's dreams of being the champion of that year. My man is really unlucky. The 2016 Belgian Grand Prix was quite a roller coaster for Nico. Just when victory was almost in his grasp, his car had little surprises. One of its tires suddenly went pop on the final lap. Imagine the shock, 
But guess what? This unexpected twist gave Daniel from Red Bull the perfect chance to speed ahead and steal the win right at the finish line. Races can be full of surprises, huh? Hey guys, ever heard of the 2001 Spanish Grand Prix? It was like a wild race where Miko was totally leading and about to win. He was zooming ahead like a champ. Guess what? His car engine suddenly said, I quit. Can you believe it? Right on the last lap. Talk about bad luck striking at the worst moment. And you know who ended up winning? Michael, thanks to this crazy twist of fate. It's as if luck was goofing around that day playing a game of hide and seek. In 2010, a talented newcomer named Nico rocked the Formula One racing scene by winning the pole position for Williams in his very first season. Everyone thought that he was destined for a fantastic career full of trophies and victories, but fate had other plans for him. Despite his hard work and determination, Nico never got the chance to drive for the top teams, and he never got to stand on the prestigious F1 podium. It's like expecting a delicious cake and ending up with just a few crumbs. Sometimes luck doesn't play fair, and Nico's story is a prime example of that. So, don't you guys think the same? At least I do. Okay, so this is another unlucky moment for a player. Let me take you back to the 2003 Brazilian Grand Prix, where the racing excitement was sky high. Giancarlo was having an amazing race and victory was within his grasp, but then out of nowhere, a pit stop mishap turned things upside down. His pit stop for fuel didn't go as planned, causing a frustrating delay that dashed his hopes of winning. Just when it seems like Giancarlo luck had ran out, fate decided to play a wild card. Right after his pit stop woes, a crazy twist occurred on the track. Mark had a massive crash, scattering debris everywhere. And guess what? Fernando, another driver on the race, narrowly escaped disaster as he navigated through chaos and debris. In a strange turn of events, the pit stop trouble that initially seemed like a huge setback for Giancarlo suddenly turned into a huge stroke of luck. So, what could have been a tale of disappointment for Giancarlo turned into a story of unexpected fortune? This is one of the luckiest moments for anyone, right? It is a plus point for you. That's it for today. If you want to see some insane fails, you can check out other videos as well. Click here and enjoy, and we'll see you in the next video.